The next part of building my case is the fan mount. So the fan mount on top of being uh, useful for airflow in the case is also going to add a bit of structural uh, strength to the end pieces or at least one of the end pieces of my case as where I've actually glued the end pieces together they are very very weak. For the fan mount it's 120 millimeters in size I wish I could have put a 140 millimeter fan in there but unfortunately the case is going to be too small. And for the actual fan mount, I'm going to be reusing the parts of the case I used for the muffle tray as it was lying around doing nothing. And it means I won't need to drill the actual holes of the fans as they're already in place. So for the fan mount, I cut it out of the case and I use a hammer to flatten down the fan mount. After this, I use the case to get a hexagonal markings out where we can then cut the fan mount. And following that, I removed all of the excess pieces of metal from the fan mount and finally cleaned up the ed edges. I also created a small indents where the steel bars are as they are intruding into where this piece of metal will actually go. In order to hold the fan mount in place, I'm screwing it into the aluminium angles. For this, I'm also going to be using self-tapping screws. I don't need to put any threading in there. Uh, all it means then is I need to put a pilot hole for the screws to go before actually putting the screws in place and then finally once that's done I can cut off the end of the screws and then sand that down to be flush with the aluminium angle. The next part of the case to do is the power supply mount. So for this I'm using two steel bars uh, which should be screwed into the case um, and then the mounting holes will be then screwed into that. So it's required first off lining up the bars, drilling through them and the steel bars in the case already before tapping them and then putting a the screw in there to hold it in place. Following this I could cut off the ends of the steel bars uh, in order to get them to the right size and then once that was done I'll be able to sand down the edges. This will make it flush to the steel bars which are already attached to the case. I am going to be putting a SFX power supply in this computer. Uh, that's a very small power supply and it's the only one I can fat fit in unless I want to go for something which isn't a very common standard. These require three screws to actually hold it in place, uh, which at first I need to mark out where to drill before actually drilling the holes to hold in place. For these I haven't tapped them, just because the actual screw threads are in the power supply already so there's no point. And finally, once this was done, I could remove the steel bars and put them on the inside of the steel bars already attached to the case, as if it was the other way around, there wouldn't be enough clearance for the case side panel to go on for that part of the case. Moving on to the graphics card mount, I am using a piece of steel bar and a piece of aluminum angle to actually hold it in place, and they are both going to be connected to the muffable tray. The aluminium angle is where the graphics card will actually screw into and that will be held on via two screws both on the model tray and on the graphics card whereas the steel bar is held on by just one screw onto both the graphics card and the model tray. The aluminium angle itself does hold up the graphics card entirely uh, but unfortunately the graphics card can move a small bit so I added in a screw onto the steel bar just to make sure the graphics card didn't actually move which would eventually end up destroying part of the case. The original plan was to have these two pieces held in partially by the side panel or part of uh, another part of the case. But unfortunately this was not possible in the end, so they're just held on by the muffle tray, which does have, thankfully work. Um, and it shouldn't be a problem considering that I did try it out with a reasonable weight graphics card and there was no problem there. Moving on to the side panels, I'm going to be using an aluminium sheet here. Uh, I need to cut six strips of them for each of the side panels of the case. And then once this is done, they'll have some thumb screws put into the top and the bottom, along with on the aluminium angle of the actual case in which they'll be attached. In order to cut them, I am simply scoring a line across the aluminium sheet and then bending the sheet until the uh, part comes off. Here I'm also deliberately making the side panels too big as you can always cut down later on but you can't afford you make something bigger. Also as much as it isn't necessary I am also going to be sanding down the side panels just so I don't end up cutting myself on it. So with these side panels all cut out 
the case is now very close to being finished. Uh, and it sort of leads me on to uh, the next point where there's a very small bit left to do with the case. So there's finished off cotton down all the side panels to be perfect and then also attach them permanently onto the case. But apart from that, there's not really le much left to go. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you did like it, then a thumbs up would be much appreciated. If you didn't, then sure, put a thumbs down. But also say in the comments down below why you didn't like it and I could perhaps change this for a future video. If you want to see more of my content, then subscribe to my channel is the best way to do that as it puts all my new videos in your subscription feed for you to watch. Thank you for watching and goodbye.